guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's look is going to be a pastel unicorn. Moving right in, we're going to prep our face with some Angel Veil Primer from NYX Cosmetics. I'm just going to put this all over my face. Now we're going to take the NYX Cosmetics Liquid Suede Metallic, and this one is in the color Ego. I did lay down a white base over my brows before applying the purple just so it grabs it a little better and it is more opaque. I normally do not recommend you to clean up your brows this way, but because I was doing colored brows, I felt it necessary to make sure that they were nice and even. But you do your boo, do whatever you like. So then I'm going to take the Star Crush Minerals Glitter in Undercover Lover, which is this purple. Once on, it does give off a hue of purple and turquoise, so this is the reason why I really, really liked it. I had just applied a thin layer of glitter adhesive on my brows and then packed the glitter right on top. For this look, most of the shadows or pigments will be from Star Crush Minerals with an occasional other few random ones. But to start off, we're going to take the color Pinkie Pie, which is one of the lighter pinks. And I'm just going to place this on my crease and blend this outward and blend it inward, blend it upward, blend, blend, blend. Then I'm going to take the color Julie and I'm going to place this on my crease. As you can tell on the corner there, it did start to lift up a little bit. It's probably my primer. So I just packed on the color with the brush just to make sure that it doesn't separate. Taking some concealer, I am going to cut the crease and extend it out towards my brow. We're going to take the color Heavy Glam, and this one is from the I Love Sarai and Colourpop collection. I'm just going to place this on the inner corner of my eye. I did apply a shimmery gold tone in the center of my lid just to give it a little bit more depth. I don't exactly know what the color is, but I will put it in the description. Moving on to the liner, we're going to take the e.l.f. liner in charcoal. Don't even worry about the other one because it was dry when I opened it out of the box. I'm not even going to talk about it. Using the charcoal liner from e.l.f., I'm going to create a liner for the inner corner of my eye going past the end of my brow. I'm just going to fill it in. Because the other one was dry, I'm going to be using the Vivid Blossom from NYX Cosmetics and placing that on top of the e.l.f. liner. Be very careful, be very steady. I almost messed this up I don't know how many times. Using the Makeup Forever Aqua XL in Hot Pink, I'm just going to create very tiny dots on my cut crease on both sides. I do go in and add these dots throughout my face once I apply the glitter. Going back in with the foundation from NYX Cosmetics, I'm just going to put this all over my face. This one is an ivory. And I'm just going to use a beauty blender, or not a beauty blender, but a beauty sponge, you know, same thing, whatever. I'm going to highlight with some Makeup Forever concealer, and this is, I think, their whitest one, to be honest. I'm just going to put this all over my face, or the highest points of my face, and then set it with some powder. We're going to take Julie under the eye and then start to contour with the mixture of Julie and Impulsive as well. Impulsive is a darker purple, so I do use that at the end just to give my cheekbones some depth. And to highlight, I did use some Away We Glow from NYX Cosmetics and then I topped it with a highlighter from Star Crush Minerals and Ice House. All of these are from Star Crush Minerals. And we're using Undercover Lover, The Stars Are Out Tonight, Earth Bros Are Easy, and Unicorn Clouds. These little glitters are tiny stars. They're so freaking cute. Oh my gosh, I love them. So I just applied a variation of all three of them on my face, 
just kind of spreading them out sporadically. You guys can do any type of glitter that you'd like. This is just what I had on hand right now, so I thought it would work perfect. Going back into the Liquid Suede and Ego from NYX Cosmetics, we're just going to fill in our lips and then top it off with some Undercover Lover glitter. To finish off the look, I went ahead and created more dots around the face, added glitter to the forehead as well as more dots. We popped on some lashes and some contacts, then I stuck some more glitter and more glitter and more glitter. And that, my babies, pretty much concludes our tutorial for today. Thank you guys so much for all the love on this look. I'm so glad that you guys loved it. Super, super easy, so I'm hoping to see some of you guys recreate these in the next coming months because Halloween is around the corner. Anyway, thank you guys as always. We love you. See you in our next video. Ciao.